camera? Are you gonna look at the camera? Stop. Ow. Hey y'all. My cat was like bugging me. Cause I'm recording and I guess he wants the attention and I'm busy recording. Stinky butt. Anyway, we'll play. Hey y'all. <laughs> Sorry about that. My cat keeps messing with my feet while I'm recording. And y'all, his name's Kato. Um, but yeah, he keeps running around here acting crazy because he's a cat. And that's what he does. But yeah, you're watching this video. The title should say um, Haunted Netflix Original uh, Season 2. I'm going to be doing... Um, I binge watched it. Uh, all, I believe, six episodes of Haunted on Netflix season two. I saw season one and I know there was a lot of controversy about um, Netflix claiming that uh, these are based on true stories or these are true stories and people are recounting them. They have their family there, they're crying and they're talking about uh, whatever uh, supernatural or paranormal thing that's happened to them as far as uh, for the show or whatever. And um, a lot of people were like, I know in particular last season, there was this one um, episode called The Slaughterhouse about this uh, family or whatnot. And the grandfather was supposedly this mass murderer. And he had like hundreds of bodies bar uh, buried out in the woods. And he's supposed to be possessed by the devil. And then people were like, you know, went and did the research. And it was like, there's no way that this could be true because where are all these bodies at and where like they were trying to like add up, you know, everything as far as like the timeline, um, what they were saying and, you know, like it wasn't adding up. So they were saying that like, you know, Netflix was lying or these people are lying and Netflix didn't look into this or something. So I'm still not sure if these, like, I don't, maybe they throw in some real ones and they maybe they say some of these stories are real and some of them are not. Um, because there's an actual um, episode in this season that I looked up and it is true and it's based off of true stuff and uh, real events and a person's memoir and everything. But honestly, I didn't look up the other ones. And I know one of them, the dude was, and then some of them you can't really look up because it's just somebody talking about some, I was in the house and I saw a ghost. You can't look that up. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, here is, uh, the. I watched all the episodes, all six. I think um, depending on how long it takes me to talk about each episode, I might break it up, do three and then do the other three. So it's not so long. Or I might just keep it rolling, um, depending on how long it takes me to talk about each episode. So here we go. The first one is called Mimic. It's about this girl. She said that she was like um, very shy and timid or whatnot. And um, she found a group of friends and she's like a little puppy dog. And she was, she just sounded like she had low self-esteem, honestly. And they like all became, you know, took her in under their wing, this friend group. And then she met, she had just started college and um, she met her boyfriend and everything. And they all decided to get a house. Um, and um, in this house uh, or whatnot, the girl she stayed in this particular room was her bedroom and it had a really a huge stain at the top um, on the ceiling while she was painting or whatnot. She noticed it. And then uh, one day while she was home alone, she kept, was hearing one of her roommates uh, well, she thought she was, uh, her roommate was there or whatever, and it was calling out her name. Hey, hey, you know, come here, come here, come here. And she kept hearing sounds or noises from downstairs, or more so from the basement. So she went and then she was like trying to find like, hey, where are you? Like, and then it turns out no one was home. And then her friend came home. She's like, weren't you just calling me? What's going on? She's like, no, I just got here. Um, and then another instance happened where, uh, I believe, uh, or she just said that she kept hearing it and she didn't want to say anything because she was so new to the friend group that she didn't want to mention it to anyone and seem like a weirdo. Um, but then one night, and then 
might I add, in this season, um, it's unnecessary nudity. Like, they were showing them fucking the shit. Like, <laughs> what that have to do with the story? Um, but, yeah, they showed them doing it and whatnot. And then one night, the boyfriend was spent the night or whatnot. And um, he uh, started hearing someone calling him from downstairs or whatnot. And he actually went all the way as far to the basement um and lit, and then he got locked in the basement for a, a couple seconds and then he had to like burst out and whatnot so from there she, she was like okay at least i'm not crazy you know somebody else is hearing these voices too so from there she still didn't tell um her friends she kept saying oh i was still so new to the friend group and she was like months pass i'm like girl when you gonna be comfortable to talk to these people they liked you enough to invite you to move in with them into this house or y'all all move together and you still don't feel comfortable to talk to these people like hey y'all i didn't heard some shit i don't know y'all say i'm crazy but i'm warning y'all or i'd have been gone if i'm hearing people calling me and ain't nobody there i'm out but i'm you know you know you know how them people, you know, some people be you're like, oh, I'm going to investigate. I don't investigate nothing. I don't care. I'm out. So anyway, what happens is uh, another time is, uh, and she just con- continuously heard these uh, voices and uh, whatnot. I'm like, it's just not disturbing you. You're just going to go on about your life with these noises and voices. But okay, girl. And then a guy decides that he wants to move in but they're like oh we don't have any more rooms left but he's like what about the basement and the girl she's like oh I felt bad because I wanted to say something but I was still so new to the friend group I'm like how new are you to this group girl because you said you've been living there for months so I was getting annoyed by her talking about some she didn't want to speak up and say anything and ain't nobody else heard nothing but her boyfriend and nobody said nothing so she let this boy come in and move she's like I don't want them to think that I was being shady or whatnot saying that she don't want this dude living there. Um, so she he moved into the basement, and then now the dude comes and he talks about his ca- uh, recounting of what happened because he um, says that when his first night there, he down there chilling, and he sees who he thinks is the girl who's telling her, this is mostly her story, come down, and she all dancing, and then she getting buck naked, and then um, they start kissing, and then all of a sudden, something happened in his mouth, and then it turns into, like, she turns into, like, dust or dirt or whatever, and then it's just weird, and he jumps back on his bed. For one, I would have hit her or knocked her to the side, whatever it was. I'd have been swinging and then tried to run my ass upstairs, but he just sitting on his bed like, <gasps> No. Um, so yeah, and I'm like, what did just do disappear and then you went on about your day? Like I <laughs> whatever, y'all. So that's what happened. And um from that moment the dude just he was at least he was smart. He was out after that. Um so then the um the boyfriend and girlfriend or whatever, the girl and her boyfriend, they heard some stuff from well, they was in the bed again and then she saw like a face come out from where the even though she painted the ceiling, she still saw that stain. It was still visible. And she saw like a face come through there. And the boyfriend went to investigate upstairs. Um, so it's like it's upstairs and downstairs haunted, like the basement and the attic. So he goes up to the attic with a black light and then they see splatters of blood, like well, what was blood or whatever, through the black light everywhere. And um, whatnot. And then they asked the uh, landlord, like, oh, who used to live there? And it was like, it was the one single gentleman who used to live there. And then he ended up killing himself. And then they made this whole thing about how the, so me, what, what I thought was the dude who killed himself was the one haunting them. But they came to the conclusion that whatever was haunting the house haunted him and drove him to kill himself. I'm like, how y'all come to all that conclusion? Maybe I missed something because it didn't sound... Okay. So from there, maybe because after what happens later. So it jumps to a scene where she's coming out the shower and then she's coming out into her... uh, into the hallway. And then she sees some type of ghoulish, like some type of sea creature monster alien thing coming up on her but it was changing faces of the people she knew like the face part was changing to her boyfriend her friend but it was like still crawling and creeping towards her she's like ah! 
and whatnot. And then she like was sitting there looking down. Like it could have been got her and did whatever it was gonna do to her. Cause she was moving real slow about it. I don't know if they was just doing it for dramatic effect, probably. And um, then she go and run into uh, back into the bathroom, and then all of a sudden, a couple seconds later, her boyfriend come, and he's like, "Oh, it's me." And I'm like, "Is it really him though? What if that was the mimic dude thing?" And it had been to her boyfriend, like for when he had went in the basement down one time. You just never know. But then she was like, "We just moved. I had to move out of that house right then." And um, slowly after that, everybody else moved out of the house, and from there. I was, uh, I, my whole life changed. I had, we had a baby and I just wonder, is that, is that thing just still up there? But I'm like, girl, how you know your boyfriend ain't possessed? Because how you just see all that stuff? He ain't see nothing. And then he just comes to the door. I don't know. It just seemed weird. Um, <laughs> but that's me just trying to add more extra plots to this story that was just like, and that was Mimic, um, from, uh, season to episode one of um, Haunted on Netflix. You know what? This was 10 minutes or 11 minutes. So I'm going to probably cut this up into more than I thought because I don't want to keep you guys for too long and whatnot. So I can just break this up into several videos. So I'll stop here and I will see y'all back with the next uh, one, which will be uh, Ward of Evil. So I'll see y'all. Hopefully, I'll just do a series of these. Um, it's going to probably be six of them, but we'll see. All right. Bye.